All right, guys. Name is Tyler, aka Nanogenics, and today, guys, we have a bit of news because um, I won't jump the gun here. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this out here. One thing, though, is that SSJ3 Broly is coming to Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Um, as you can see there from the V Jump scan on the screen, the physical one is going to Dokkan Awaken as well. But here's the catch at least right now and all the buzz over on Twitter and uh, and the subreddit and everything else is that the icon next to the tech Broly is actually the icon for a super character now I think this is completely 100% wrong um, we've literally gotten every single super type and we are only missing the tech extreme type so it would not make any sense at all for them to have dropped the SSJ3 Goku as the Super 120 lead, and then to now have a full-on Dokkan Fest. This is an actual Dokkan Fest, um, so this is meant to be, this isn't, you know, a, a one-off thing or anything like this. This is meant to be a full-on Dokkan Fest banner, um, just like we've seen the last nine banners do. So it would not make sense for them to bring this character out as a tech type, have a full-on big deal Dokkan Fest about it, and him be a super type. I fully and believe 100% right now that this guy is the extreme tech lead. Let me know down below what you guys think. If, you, if, if this is the first you've heard about it, that icon right there next to him that it's showing, uh, that it is showing on the the one with his hand up, is the icon for a super type. But then the icon for the physical one is the extreme type. So if that one can go all the way to SSJ3. And it's and it's extreme. Then why would then why would the one that's tech not be extreme as well? Plus, when have you ever seen Broly as a super type character? Now the other thing too, I saw um, I saw a bunch of stuff uh, over on Twitter about people saying, "Well, how is this happening?" Or, or we're never going to get this on Global because he is a Dragon Ball Heroes character. Well, the only thing I can say is that Super Saiyan 3 Broly has been in other Dragon Ball games, uh, Dragon Ball Raging Blast. So he was in the Raging Blast series, so I don't see what the issue would be with him coming to Global. However, it does say he's the super super uh, tech type, and I just I just don't I don't believe it. I want to hear back from you guys. What do you guys think? Literally, it's been leading up to seven seven, the big deal last year where Super Vegito and uh, and the Fizz SSJ Broly came out. So I feel like this is perfect timing for them to drop a brand new banner to give us the final one twenty lead, and then on seven seven give us something completely brand new. Which is another piece to this, and I'm gonna give a big shout out to the Dokkan subreddit here. I'll put a link to it down below. Call us on over there, uh, given given those fresh and hot translations. But the thing down at the bottom that is talking about 621 to 73. At first, an initial glance at this image, at this screen, you think, oh, well, this fest is gonna happen on the 21st to the 3rd. Um, I saw some people saying the 24th. I don't know where they got that, but in case you guys uh, are wondering, I I saw a lot of people saying it would be the 24th of June which is in just six days of me recording this, uh, seven days of me recording this. Anyways, apparently the 21st to the 3rd uh, announcement down there at the bottom that's talking about with a URL that does not work currently um, is it's going to be your voting. You're voting on like 30 separate characters um, and something is going to happen on the 7th. They're going to announce it all on the 5th and something is going to happen on the 7th. Is it a GSSR banner with uh, some of the top votes? Is it that for these 30 characters, they already have another character similar to them ready to rock and roll? And immediately on the 7th, we have a brand new banner with Super Vegeta, with Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. I assume probably Super Vegito will be on there with that Rage Trunks, with Rose, whatever it might be. I mean, we're, we're fooling ourselves. We don't think they have another Blue Vegito planned, another Rose planned, another one of these. I mean, Trunks has been, tr there are so many freaking Super Saiyan Trunks in this game. It's insane. SSR Super Saiyan Trunks is in this game. Um, and another Rosé will be super hyped, another Blue Vegeta will be super hyped, another Super Vegeta will be super hyped, we've already seen them do it with Gogeta and Janimba, so it's not going to surprise anyone when they do it with one of these characters as well. But yes, that thing down there is actually talking about, we'll go to a URL on the 21st through the 3rd and be able to vote on one of, and you can see it says 30 there, one of 30 characters. Or I assume it's one of 30 characters. Some sort of voting is going to happen to deal with 30 characters in Dokkan Battle. But uh, this was a bit of a quicker video today, guys. I just wanted to get this out here. SSJ3 Broly is coming to Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. One thing, I'd, actually one thing I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, I did want to talk about really fast was because assuming he, assuming this is a typo and he's not a super type, if he is a super type, then I guess still kind of hype. 
not as hype but still kind of hype i'm just ready to run extreme tech tech team let's just be honest but obviously he's going to replace somebody on it on the super tech team because ssj3 hype like crazy are you kidding ssj3 gotinks ssj3 uh doll gotinks ssj3 goku ssj3 um regular kid kid gotinks or just gotinks it sounds weird calling them kid gotinks but anyways uh, and so I guess you'll be able to build some crazy super tech type team, but I want to build my extreme tech type team with Mass Sam, with Golden Frieza, uh, with Murn Zamasu. I just want to do it so bad. Uh, but the one thing I was going to say is that, do we want it to be SSJ3 Broly? Now, you guys know I'm a pretty big Broly fan. Uh, the aesthetics, bro. The aesthetics, you know what I'm saying? No, uh, I just, I don't know. I've always really liked Broly. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, one of the things I've said, one of the main reasons why I always liked Broly is because growing up, one of the only things I had to watch was the first legendary Super Saiyan Broly movie uh, on demand. That and the cooler movies. That's all I pretty much had. And then I otherwise just had to hope that it was on TV. So growing up, the only thing I had to watch on demand was Broly. So obviously you watch that enough and it kind of just grows on you. Uh, plus the music in that movie is super hyped. But uh, the one thing is, is I saw a lot of people wanting another full power Frieza. And here's the deal. It's a two. It's a two-edged sword there because I feel like if they'd have done full power Frieza, we'd have been like, "Oh, great, they rehashed another card." Uh, so they're actually bringing us a brand new card. But I can see the other side of it, which I've already seen over on Twitter, is that, "Oh, great, another Broly card. We just got LR Broly. We've already got the strength one. We've already, you know, and all this other stuff." But a nice plus to free-to-play players because you're getting an SSJ3 Broly for essentially free if you can beat the event. Um, obviously the, the standard SR one, Duncan Awakens into the Super Saiyan one to UR, and then you'll be able to TUR him now into SSJ3 Broly. Uh, but let me know down below who you would like to have seen. I know a lot of people wanted to see Hit. I, I mean, I personally kind of wanted to see Hit. I know it would have been another rehash, but I personally kind of wanted to see a Perfect Cell. I don't know. I, I really want a, like, super hype Perfect Cell. I know the strength one is there, but I want, like, a super hype Perfect Cell card. I love Perfect Cell. Uh, but yeah, I would have even liked to have seen, seen them do something crazy like this that doesn't really exist. At least not, we don't, it doesn't exist yet anyways, which maybe it's going to, and that's why they don't want to do it, but it's a full power golden Frieza. That would have been awesome. Uh, anyways, guys, that's today's video. Guys, if you're new here, consider subscribing. If you guys enjoyed this nice little quick one-off talking about a brand new SSJ3 Broly coming to Dokkan Battle, uh, consider hitting that like button. Otherwise, you guys have a great, great day. Keep on keeping on Nanogenics here, signing off, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.